Hello and welcome to a new episode of Amazing China. This is Miao with Xinhua News Agency, and I'm doing a live show with a drone. So I'm at the site of the world's largest radio in the very scenic mountains here. And just now we had a very interesting live broadcast. Uh, during the show, we got into the bottom of the telescope, and I highly recommend that you watch the show again because we lost the signals. Uh, during uh, the last part, when we try to show the drone, so here we go. The drone is taking off and showing us the world's largest radio telescope. Let's go. Guys, our drone is very high in the air. So uh, what is now here is was the construction site of the 100 meters in diameter, and it's as large as more than 30 football grounds. A walk around it could take 40 minutes. Just now, a few minutes ago, we had a live show uh, from the top to the bottom. It's very exclusive. Unfortunately, in the end, we lost the signal, but the show is worth watching again. So. Can you see? The telescope looks like a giant eye, right? But it actually functions more like an ear listening to radio messages from the universe. And uh, at the bottom, it only has six panels left to be installed. Just now, we have um, seen the seventh piece installed, and tomorrow we have the The telescope is composed of two parts, the fit cabin 30 ton, which collects signals from the universe, it's like a retina, and the big dish, uh, which is uh, made up of 4,450 panels. It's the uh, spherical reflect that uh, Tomorrow, when the final pieces were installed, it will mark the completion of the main body's construction. And after a few months of uh, debugging and testing, in September, this world's largest radio telescope will start operation. Weather is a bit foggy now, and the image you are looking at is filmed by a drone up high in the air on top of the world's largest radio telescope. It's called 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope, aka FAST. After its completion uh, um, tomorrow and starts operation in September, its main scientific mission will be gathering a large amount of new data uh, on a range of phenomenal, um, physical phenomena in the universe. And it might be able to detect radio messages from the very stable. So this colossal project costs about 1.2 billion Chinese yuan, or 184 million US dollars. It is obviously the most ambitious and the largest uh, astronomical project in China. A detailed look. Since now we are uh, surrounded by mountains, um, before this project, over 9,000 villagers uh, had to be relocated within uh, the radius of 5 kilometers, just in case of uh, 
disruptions. And those local villages, they didn't know that this huge project was going to be used to find aliens. They were very excited. Largest, uh, actually, the world's currently operating largest uh, te radio telescope is located in Puerto Rico. It's the Arecibo Observatory, and that one measures 300 or 5 uh, meters in comparison to the 500 meters of the FAST projects. And uh, a lot of people might have already know from previous shows that when the come And this is our first time doing a live show with the drone. It never happens before, and we're all excited to see. Perhaps you cannot see from the drone's image operation in September. Tourists will be allowed to get inside and have an, like a close look at the telescope from the observation deck. And local policymakers kind of hope to make this project also uh, a tourist attraction because here you can feast your eyes on the beauty of nature and science. And in the daytime, it's the attractions you may say is that uh, once you get here um, you will not be allowed to use your cell phones or electronics or you're not even allowed to drive your car once it starts operation so that means um, if you travel here you could be completely disconnected from the outside world and the radio telescope is going to be the best in the next 20 and 30 years in the world. And our drone is coming down to the ground, and you're about to see my face very soon. To the battery's capacity, that's all we can do for now with the drone. And uh, with this uh, world's largest telescope, what a uh, radio telescope uh, to be completed tomorrow, in construction will really put China at the forefront of scientific research, and more live broadcasts will come. And stay tuned. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.